some really good dupes for y'all. <laughs> Hello, my bestie boos welcome back to my channel i'm the mom latrice and today i'm going to be giving you some perfume dupes that smell exactly like are really close to your faves okay some of these fragrances are niche fragrances some are designers but they all smell very very similar so i'm gonna save you a little bit of coin if this is your first time watching thank you for giving your girl a chance and i hope you stick around if you're a returning subscriber you know how much i love you so come on in here girl if you like people who keep it real if you like people who keep it positive and who keep it pushing, then this is the place for you. Now let's get into this video. Okay, so some of these fragrances smell exactly like the original version and some of them are really close seconds. Um, maybe they're 70 to 75% similar, but I wanted to give you some affordable options for your favorite fragrances that you love and maybe you just can't get them quite just yet. First up is Armani My Way. I no longer own My Way. I owned it, but I decluttered it last year. My Way is a beautiful bubble gummy tuberose fragrance. It's very, very floral. It's very, very loud and beast mode and it projects really, really strongly. It smells really good, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, there was something in it that just was a little bit too heavy for me, was just a little bit too floral for me. So Iman by Latafa very very similar dna to armani my way i have had this one for some months now and when i first smelled it i was like what is that like it smells like something that i had before but i could not put my finger on it until i smell armani my way again in the store i absolutely really really enjoy my way again it's just it was something just a little bit too heavy in the fragrance that i just wasn't vibing with um i've debated about buying it again because i really do like it but Iman is very, very similar. I would say this is 85% similar to Armani's My Way. It definitely has that tuberose note in here. It definitely has that bubble gummy quality. Although the difference is it's not as sweet as Armani My Way. It's not as heavy and not as thick as Armani My Way. It doesn't project as strongly. I feel like they took the Armani My Way DNA and they softened it up a little bit. They took out a little bit of the sweetness. So if you like Armani My Way, you will absolutely love Iman. You will love this fragrance. It is very, very floral, but it's lighter. It's not as heavy. It's beautiful. And the bottle, honey, is giving me all the vibes, okay? I love the bottle on this fragrance. It's velour. It's really, really pretty. And of course, I love the gold detailing. This royal blue or indigo is my vibe okay i absolutely love this fragrance i love the bottle i love everything about it and i love that you can save money by buying this one while you wait on my way just a little bit the next fragrance is juliet has a gun lust for sun i will put the bottle on the screen somewhere here because i do not own lust for sun but it is a very heavy floral fragrance that projects really well it is a yellow floral fragrance it's very very beautiful but again i don't own it but a close dupe of that is la african drummer by latafa look at her isn't she absolutely gorgeous i love the bottle the juice inside is really good as well it definitely has that lust for sun dna to me i couldn't put my finger on it like the other one but as i kept smelling it and then i went to sephora and i tried out some fragrances and lust for sun smells very very close to this fragrance now it's not a 100 percent dupe it's not a clone per se, in my opinion, but the florals in here are very, very similar to the florals in Lust for Sun. It's a beautiful floral fragrance that is perfect for the summertime. It has those tropical flowers in there that remind you of being on an island. This has a touch of coconut in it, although it's not, to me, a coconut heavy fragrance. I do pick up the coconut in this fragrance, but it's not super coconutty. This is a tropical fragrance that is for the floral lover, not for the coconut lover, not for the pineapple and fruity floral fragrance lover. This is a fragrance for the summertime for the floral lover. Like if you love floral perfumes, you love all the flowers and all the tropical flower vibes like ylang ylang, like tiara flower, you know, flowers like that, you will absolutely love this fragrance and it projects really, really well and it also lasts a really long time. When I sprayed this, testing it out, honey, I was smelling this in my house all day, okay, all day. It was on the box, it was on my clothes. So this one lasted a really, really long time for me. 
if you have longevity issues on this fragrance i don't know what to tell you honey because for me it lasts all day next up we have alien goddess by mugler alien goddess is a beautiful fragrance it's an ambery coconutty fragrance that is perfect for the summertime but it's also perfect i feel like year round honey because i'm aware what i want when i want <laughs> and i suggest you do the same but this fragrance smells very ambery very coconutty and a little bit warm and a close second to this fragrance honey yara tooth okay yes yara tooth to me these smell very very similar they smell so close to me but to me I when i spray these side by side they smell very very similar to me this is mango this has some floral notes in here but it's so affordable it's so much more affordable than alien goddess although i love alien goddess honey <laughs> you worth every penny boo so don't it's no shade no shade to you but I'm trying to save y'all some coin, okay? So if you want to save you some coin until you can get Alien Goddess, go ahead and get you some Yara Tooth because it definitely has the same DNA. I want to say it's like a 90% dupe. It smells 90% like Alien Goddess, maybe even 95% to my nose. Now, this is my nose, okay? So if it doesn't smell like that to you, I'm sorry, girl, but this is what I'm smelling. After having this for a year, this has gotten so much deeper. This has gotten so much more complex. When I first purchased this fragrance, it did not smell so much like Alien Goddess to me. But after having it a year, y'all, these are super close. We already know about this one, okay? This is Car Pistachio. No, hair. Car. Y'all help me out. Car Pistachio hair. I don't know. I'm trying my best but look at my dent as you can see i absolutely love this fragrance it smells just like kaali yum pistachio gelato i do feel like kaali yum pistachio gelato is a little bit uh deeper and thicker but this one is so close to it i would say it's a 95 percent dupe it definitely has the nuttiness but it's a little bit more fresher um than kaali yum pistachio gelato but this one is so good y'all it is so close to the original version that i'm gonna have this until i get that one i've talked about this before too but this is burberry her elixir beautiful creamy lactonic strawberry fragrance that projects like a beast smells absolutely amazing very fruity very vanilla just a gorgeous masterpiece like nothing is going to replace this in my collection but i'm trying to save y'all a coin okay until you can get this one you have to own this one this is not a question but if you're looking to save you a little bit of a coin rave now latafa okay rave now women by latafa smells so close to burberry her elixir it is a very close dupe of burberry her elixir i do have a preference for the original but again this one is so close it still gives you the creaminess it still gives you the strawberry fruitiness of the original fragrance it smells so good i have a little bit of a dent in here already because it's such an easy reach and for on me it lasts forever i know someone in my comments told me that it doesn't last for them I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry it don't last for you. But for me, it lasts forever. It definitely has that, you know, ozonic and broxin note in here that gives it that airiness. It makes it last a long time. This one is a really, really good one. This is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. It's candy, pear, and leather. It's complex. It's a compliment magnet. It is not a easy blind buy, okay? This takes someone who loves those candy, pear, sweet, leathery notes and fragrances. It's very complex. Some people say it leans mature, but to me, this is a masterpiece. It is beautiful. This gets so many compliments, okay? So many compliments, I can't even count beautiful fragrance but if you are looking for something that is very very similar i would say get you some teriyak by latafa okay this is a beautiful fragrance as well it's not as sweet as la belle to me but it does give you that candied fruit now the fruit in here is apricot but to me it smells very very similar to la belle especially in the opening of the fragrance you are going to get that jean paul gaultier la belle dna now this one dries down on your skin to a little bit more warmer spicier fragrance but in that opening it is one-to-one -one almost okay it smells so good in and the, the dry down of this fragrance it smells very similar to me to La Belle mixed with Camera. So if you like that and you already have La Belle, go ahead and spray Camera on top and you are going to get Teriyak, okay? But I think Teriyak deserves to be purchased on her own. This is something that you absolutely want in your collection. If you like those kind of fragrances, beautiful compliment magnet. 
Next up is Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. I absolutely love this fragrance. I adore this fragrance. It is very green. It, it is a fruity fragrance, um, but it has a lot of greenness to it. It does have a big sillage as well. It's very enveloping. You smell this fragrance from miles away, okay? It smells so good. I absolutely love it, adore it, obsessed with it. Absolutely 100%. But a more affordable option of this fragrance, if you can't get your hands on it, is Mancera's Vanille Exclusive. These fragrances, one to one almost, okay? Now this one isn't cheap. It's not cheap either, but it's a lot more affordable than Killian's. Now I think Killian is a masterpiece. You, I own them both, obviously, because I love them both very much. But if you're trying to save a coin and you want something that is just like Good Girl Gone Bad, the knee exclusive is going to be for you, honey. Trust me when I tell you it smells so good. It's very enveloping. It does not smell very strongly of vanilla, even though it is called vanilla exclusive. Don't get this thinking that it's going to smell like vanilla because the vanilla is like super down deep, down, down, down deep in the base. Okay. This is mostly green, but absolutely a beautiful fragrance. This next one is a newer fragrance and I don't own the full bottle, although it is on my to buy list because I'm obsessed with it. This is Wave Child by Room 1015, a beautiful watermelon in perfume form fragrance that has some coconut in here. It's very summery. It's very light. It's one of those fragrances that is an easy reach. Really, really beautiful, perfumey, but fruity, really, really fruity and light and fun. This is a really fun fragrance, but it is a niche fragrance and it sells out a lot as well. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable, but it's going to give you the same vibes as this, then you're going to want to get you some Escada Sobretto Rosso. This fragrance is gorgeous. It is light. It lasts a moderate amount of time, honey, but it's also very playful, very fun, very flirty, just like uh, Room 1015's Wave Child. These are very, very similar in the opening to me and they're very, very similar in the dry down to me. I do feel like Wave Child lasts a bit longer than the Escada Sobretto Rosso, but this one is a lot more affordable, honey. If I can find the link, I will put it down below, but I found this at Ross, okay? I found this at Ross. It was so affordable, and I didn't smell it before I bought it because, you know, you can't smell fragrances in Ross, child. But when I opened it up at home, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is a beautiful watermelon fragrance that's really light and friendly and flirty and fun and airy and all the things. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful fragrance. And Wave Child reminds me so much of this fragrance, although I do slightly prefer Wave Child over the other fragrance because it does last long. I feel like it's a little more complex um, than the more affordable version of it. But if you're looking to save a coin, I'm helping you out, girl. You can get yourself some Sabrina Rosso by Escada. One of my favorite fragrances for the summertime, really all year round because I'm obsessed with coconut, is Coco Vanille by Mansara. This is a beautiful coconut vanilla fragrance that's half and half vanilla and coconut. These are evenly tempered. It definitely smells very beautiful with that Madagascar vanilla in here. That coconut note is really, really creamy. It's beautiful. This projects like a monster, honey. <laughs> They're going to smell you everywhere. The whole room is going to be full of your scent if you spray this, which I love, honey, because I wear my fragrances to smell them, okay? And if you smell them too, that's a bonus for you, okay? So I love Coco Vanille. It's absolutely beautiful, but... Again, this fragrance is not cheap, honey. I think it's worth every single penny, but a good close dupe is Kayat El for Sun by Latafa. This fragrance gives you the vibes of Coco Vanille, especially after I've had it for this past year. It's gotten so much richer, creamier, deeper, beautiful. This is coconut. This is creamy. This is a little bit lactonic in the creaminess, but not super lactonic. This is a beautiful fragrance and it's affordable, okay? This is so affordable. It's almost a crime, okay? This is worth every penny. And if you pump you some sprays out and you let it sit for a couple of months, you're going to get your whole life. But I also enjoyed it at first spray. So you don't have to let it sit to enjoy the fragrance, but it is worth every single penny. It is very inexpensive. I will put the link down below. Matter of fact, if I can find all the links, whatever link I can find, I will put it down below. So if you are interested in saving you a coin, honey, and you want to smell like Coco Vanille by Mascara, go and get you some Kaya Alpherson Unlimited. Next up is a fragrance that is really popular. It especially was popular probably a year or two ago in the fragrance community. Initio Parfums is a beautiful niche fragrance house that makes bangers, okay? They make masterpieces, but they ain't cheap, girl, okay? So if you want to save you a coin, 
one of their most popular fragrances is Paragon. Paragon by Initio is absolutely beautiful. I do not own it. I want it so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad, but it's plum and oud and it's very complex and it's very rich and dense. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I want to own it one day, honey, but these kids expensive. So until I can get there, Vintage Radio by Latafa is a beautiful one-to-one -one exact dupe, exact clone of Initials Paragon. Y'all, this smells so much like Initials Paragon. It has that fruitiness of the plum in the opening, but it has that oud deep down in the base. This is a smooth, creamy, oudy, fruity fragrance. If you like oud, if you like plum, you will love this fragrance. If you don't like oud, don't tell nobody I told you to buy this. If you don't like oud, because you do get the oud. I feel like the oud is very smoothly blended. It's not too screechy or, you know, offensive, but that's my opinion because I love fragrances i love all kinds of fragrances so if you're the type of girl who just wants something light and flirty and fun this is not for you but if you want something that's deep and rich and plum and oud and all the good things vintage radio by latafa is going to be right up your alley this is an affordable fragrance that is a masterpiece i feel like this fragrance is blended so well it's absolutely amazing it lasts forever on the skin and on the clothes. It's absolutely beautiful and it is a unisex fragrance. Although if you are the type of girl that just likes light feminine fragrances, then this may not be for you because it may, in your opinion, lean more masculine. I feel like this is a unisex fragrance, but again, to some it may lean masculine, but it's beautiful. And if you know that you like Initials Paragon, get you some of this. Next up is a fragrance that is discontinued. It's a discontinued fragrance that is just an absolute masterpiece. It is Fev Delicious. Fev Delicious is a gourmand lover's dream. If you can get your nose on that fragrance, you will be so happy, okay? They have discontinued it twice, I think. And as latest time, it's also discontinued right now. So you may not be able to get your nose on it. I had like a small little sample and I was saving it forever. And I don't have it anymore. So when I heard that um, Paris Corners, a mirror line came out with Frenetic Delicious, I was so happy. This is cherries. This is a little bit of mint. This is a little bit creamy and spicy and just all of the beautiful, well-blended, amazingly high-quality, smooth-blended things, okay? I think this is sold out now, too. But if you can find it on Amazon or on any website... And you like gourmand fragrances, you like complex fragrances, you like very, very sweet, well-blended fragrances, you will absolutely love this. This smells exactly like the discontinued Feb Delicious. It's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. It's high quality. The bottle is heavy, honey. It is heavy. I don't need no weapons in my house, okay? I don't need anything to hurt nobody in my house because my perfume bottles, I'm just going to be throwing them if somebody come up in my house. So you better not come in my house because <laughs> my perfumes are heavy honey okay this is a high quality heavy thick glass bottle to protect the amazing high quality juice inside i'm obsessed with this one next up is another cult classic fragrance ysl's baby cat is a beautiful very suede very very leathery resinous wood vanilla fragrance okay so if you know about why sell baby cat you know what i'm talking about if you don't this is not the type of fragrance that it's going to be for somebody who wants something really light and friendly and crowd pleasing it is not crowd pleasing at all but it is a very popular fragrance so if you want an affordable version of it then Rificot by paris corner is going to be your best bet this is paris corner right child let me Make sure I'm saying, yes, honey. Rifika by Paris Corner. It is very leathery. It has a lot of suede in here, but it also has a lot of vanilla. So when you first spray it, you kind of get that rubbery, uh, suede, leathery smell in the opening. But when it dries down, it does dry down to a warm, suede, vanilla fragrance. This is not a safe blind buy. Don't tell nobody I told you to buy this fragrance. Okay, do not come for me in the comments telling me I told you to buy this. Okay, <laughs> but if you like YSL Baby Cat. If you like Rosendo Matu number five, that thick, heavy, resinous, leathery, suede type fragrance that has that warm vanilla down in the base, you will love this fragrance, okay? You will absolutely love this. And it is so much more affordable than all of those. Next up is a gourmand fragrance that I absolutely love. This is Zerjoff's Italica. I do not own Zerjoff's Italica. I wish I owned it, but I'm trying to save my money, child. I'm trying to save my money. I had a five milliliter like sample that I just, 
babied for a year and a half because I wanted it so bad, but I have not bit the bullet and bought that fragrance because Zerge Offs, they, they a little expensive. I ain't gonna lie, child. But when I went to Target, I got Mix Bar's Whipped Almond. Yeah, Whipped Almond smells so close to Zerge Offs Italica. This smells so close to Zerge Offs Italica. It's crazy how close it smells. Now, Zerge Offs Italica does project more. Zerge Offs Italica is heavier. Zerge Offs Italica does last a lot longer. But for $19.99... You cannot beat Mix Bar's Whipped Almond. This fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It's very nutty. You smell that nutty, creamy almond right in the opening. <sighs> it smells so good. And as you can see, I have a good size dent for as many fragrances that I have. I was killing this in the fall time. And actually, I kind of want to wear it right now. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's also a clean fragrance, so it doesn't have as many like chemicals and like unnatural products in it as other fragrances do. It's beautiful. It smells very nutty and creamy and like tonic and all the wonderful, beautiful Italica dream things. Okay, so if you like Italica by Zerjoff and you want to save a coin and you want to only spend $19.99, okay, get yourself some mix bars whipped almond. And last but not least is one of my favorite favorite gourmand fragrances this is my favorite caramel fragrance my favorite caramel honey combo fragrance this is bianco latte by giardini di toscana beautiful heavy thick sweet caramel honey fragrance that projects really strongly this last year was like on everybody's radar this fragrance is beautiful okay if you like gourmands if you like caramel if you like sweet thick heavy fragrances bianco latte is gonna be for you it projects like a monster it is amazingly delicious almost drinkable delicious okay you gonna smell edible honey when you wear this fragrance if you like this one but you can't get your hands on it or it's a little too expensive for you then latafa's eclair this the one okay this the one this one is good 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 it's crazy how much this smells like bianco latte like for real this is crazy how much it smells like that you get the caramel you get the honey you get that whipped creamy deep just edible fragrance okay if you want to smell edible if you want to smell like you want to be eaten alive honey you want to get you some eclair by latafa this one is the bomb this smells just like bianco latte especially in the opening the dry down is very very similar as well they got this one they got this one down okay they got this one down this one smells so stinking good like it's almost scary how close it is it's like they made them in the same company it's like they made them in the same vat poured them in different bottles honey that's how close this fragrance is it smells so good i am happy that i own both because i love them both and i don't want to choose but they are both so similar and eclair is so much more affordable it is delicious i love this fragrance y'all if y'all can't tell i'm obsessed with this one so yep those are the 14 fragrances in my collection right now that are dupes of dupey dupes okay they are dupes they are clones they smell so close to the original versions and some of them are a fraction of the price okay so if you love those fragrances and they're your faves and you looking for something that's going to save you a coin save you some dollars won't hold your pockets okay these fragrances are that for you I hope you are enjoying the content. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you again. I hope you are having an amazing day. I want all the wonderful, beautiful, fabulous things for you. I will put all the links that I can find down below in the description box. Also, follow me on all of my social media pages, you guys. I interact with you if you message me, if you comment down below. All of the things, honey, I answer you. I enjoy talking to you guys so much. Please catch up on all of my videos. And most importantly, please subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel and until next time, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you.